Hey everyone, um, this is a bit of a different kind of video, and it's it's going to be difficult doing this off the top. Um, so so bear with me if I if I make a mistake or tumble or stumble a little bit along the way. Um, what I wanted to talk about basically is some uh, some discussions that I've had with with people over the course of uh, well the last year or so, and when, I suppose it really started with that whole whole GamerGate stuff. I became you know peripherally aware of it and started you know watching related content on and off and and just reading stuff um, and a lot of it really spoke to me in 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 the sense that I've always been concerned about freedom of speech and freedom of expression so uh, that's uh, initially what wrote me in but um, if you've seen me around in some comments somewhere, you might have heard me describe myself as an anti-feminist, but that would probably mostly have been for the, you know, sake of um, just easing the discussion. It's it's easier if I categorize myself in that way um, because I do advocate against it. It's I I don't see it as a positive, although obviously it, I'm not trying to say that every single feminist is this or that which is uh, some criticism that I've heard. Um, I'm just saying that the ideas that I tend to see associated with feminism and its presence in academia uh, in the form of social studies coursework, and um, I think they actually call it that. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I, I don't see that as a positive because I see a lot of it as inherently discriminatory and uh, um, non-meritocratic. But um, the thing that I actually, because I, for a long time I haven't wanted to discuss it or really add it to the channel, because first of all I realized that this channel being mostly a mental health related one, um, I assume that a lot of people are going to be otherwise inclined than me, but that might just be an assumption. I don't actually know. Um, the second thing. Uh, that made me hesitant is that um, well I didn't really feel like I had anything to add and after some deliberation now I, I think I actually do um, and this is is based on on the assumption that most people generally have good intentions which um, I think is the case um, and what I'm going to advocate for is just a little bit of uh, of common decency. If if you're agree, going to agree with or disagree with someone, explain why, so that they they don't see an insult and become alienated from your from your argument or your point. Um, you might you might see something you find stupid and laugh at it, but if you just ha fuck off, retard, that's not really gonna. That's just gonna that's gonna make you look like the retard, and it's gonna make. Um, people disagree with you even if what you had in your mind was actually a good point um, so please take the time to at least type it out if you feel like you have something constructive to add and the second thing that I, I wanted to add is that I think that everyone should always be uh, uh, be open to the possibility that they might be wrong because um, if if you're not, then you can't correct your mistakes, and that's gonna end up badly eventually. So, um, yeah, um, not in support of feminism, not really in support of uh, social justice stuff. I do consider myself left-leaning, but that's mostly on um, healthcare and school, maybe even transportation, some issues like that, which I believe. Uh, can be successfully government subsidized under the right circumstances, blah blah blah. blah. So, um, but but yeah, not not the identity politics and not the uh, not the social justice stuff. And I suppose I suppose that's about about it. Um, that's what I had to add. Um, I hope I hope a lot of people doesn't hate me for this, but I think I've been pretty polite. So I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, have a good one.